Just, just, can we have a moment, all right, before, before I leave this place, this hollowed ground, to just appreciate the fact that I have not used my stacks in like three months, two months, two or three months, like it's been a while. I had so much to do, I was so far behind, I can't have time to go back and listen to things that I already love, I don't have a reason to. And APOS Audio has given me a reason. Thank you, Apos. You see, Apos Audio not only sells Mr. Speaker's things, but it also sells Stacks things now. So there's more than one distributor in the entire fucking world. And if you don't live in the U.S., this probably doesn't apply to you. Although I don't know if Apos is shipping international. They might be. My fans are blowing real hard. Um, this is the Stacks SRM D10, and I'll tell you one thing: it's made in China. Stop! Stop! But Zeos, Stax is Japanese. Yes, Stax is Japanese. All the lettering on this. Well, actually, wait, is this lettering Japanese or Chinese? I can't tell. Right there, Beijing Edifier Technology. Edifier, the, you know, Edifier, like Edifier, bought Stax a couple of years back. And nobody knew what to make of that. If it was a good thing or a bad thing, or it was like, oh my God, what's happening? But if you really sit down and, and, and pay attention, I'm going to reiterate this when I review these in a separate video. These are the new Mark II L700s. Maybe taking some of the responsibility off of designing and forwarding the Stax brand isn't the worst idea. Edifier makes some of the best built stuff. Great sounding best built stuff. And really... Stacks are stacks, like st literally the highest tier. If you join my Patreon or my subscribe star, it's the Stacks Bro tier. You, you are, you are down there. You're at like insane levels of, of stupidity. So all stacks really need is help building things. They're way, way too much into like that 70s plastic. And it improved from here. I have my um, full on Stacks 207 Ultras, which if you've never seen them, these are an older set that has modified uh, cup holders, 3D printed, I didn't 3D print them, someone else did. And then a giant set of, I think these are ZMF pads. And we're gonna put these on there because I haven't heard these in a while either. But um, we're here to talk about Apos Audio sending me this, the SRM D10. And to my dismay, this is the cheapest electrostatic energizer. I should probably explain electrostats, it's been a while. My channel has grown quite a bit. We're we're we are at least at two hundred thousand at this point, if not there. Um, look, just look. As someone who's who owns Stacks Electrostatics and who's unboxed several Stacks products in the past, and I love the fuck, I love Electrostat, I love them. Holy shit! Do they not know how to package things, or display things, or build quality things? It's like, and now, Edifier takes over. And it's a lot of the stuff still made in Japan. Like these, these are still made in Japan. These are not made in China. The electrostatic themselves are Japan. This, I think, is the first uh, Chinese-made device. But look at the, just look at the packaging. Look at the red box with the, with it sat in here beautifully wrapped in plastic and it came apart. And you have all the individualized black boxes under it in like heavy-duty Kaizen foam. And there, there's pictures of this. Literally, just contains the manual. There's just a piece of paper in this in the whole box, in the whole cubular box. So I was just so... China. Um, wires, which I have out. Uh, power plug and adapters, which I have out, so I don't have to be in here. I'm gonna close this back up. And close this back up. Put this here. This is the wrapping around it. I even like this. Like, even though it's like, this is a completely modern packaging, this just feels like, I, I get the, I get what they're going for with it. I get it. I get, I get it. They have a someone has an idea, a theme, and I. Mm, could you imagine if stacks become popular now? Because you could actually a get them from at least two places on the internet, and things like this are going to exist. So this is the first. I think it's the first. I might be lying. I know they say it's the first, but I'm. You know, you can never trust anything on the internet. Portable electrostack energizer, and it is a chunk. I, I don't. <laughs> What do I have to compare it against? Does anything? I mean, well, actually, this is perfect. Here's the Wall 11 Topaz. 
This is a Wu Audio. I get to link this now. I haven't linked this in a while. And this is a beautiful headphone amplifier, like really fuck you top notch amplifier. And I attach it to, this is a Hibby R3 Pro, literally blue tacked to it. And if I plug this in here with the little scoopy doopy dooper wire, now this uses this as the amp and it's one of the best portable solutions ever. And I'd say they're comparable because this is thicker. This is still a little bit heavier, but this is sort of the level of audiophilia we're at now. Audiophilia, if you know what I mean. This is a metal case, entirely metal. The grooves on this are exactly as pre pleasurable to touch as you imagine they are. Stacks embroidered there. High-res audio sticker, um, because. DSD, this does do DSD-128. It is a DAC amp, not just an amp, not just an amp. And this is the first combo DAC amp I think I've ever reviewed with stacks in mind. Um, the build quality on this is impeccable. It's Edifier good. And anyone who knows anything about Edifier knows that their build quality is impeccable. This volume knob, well indicated with the, the sunken in notches, and this says volume on it, and then this knurled metal, like, ah. Uh, if you don't know what the Stax connector looks like, it's this. I should probably, like I said, we, it's been a while since I've done an electrostatic. This is what an electrostatic energizer headphone plug looks like. Ear speaker, my bad, ear speaker, it's not a headphone. Not a headphone. It's an ear speaker. That hurt. Is this what kink play is? I'm gonna, I'll, I'll look it up later. Um, basically, instead of having magnets do anything, it has electrostatic energy do anything. Go back and watch my Martin Logan electrostatic speaker review. I explained it in that. And it's that, but on your head. So it's like 600 volts, 540 volts on your head. And that's why it has a special connector, and that's why it's doing all this shit. And you can see the unit is very clean. It's got a very nice class one electrical warning that's in like a, a silver sticker that's almost the same color as the front. They have to put it there and they've found a way to do it where it doesn't stick out and look terrible. A very nice connector too. Um, here's your serial number, ED1-1657 date code. This was made apparently September of 2018. That's not that new. I guess it's been sitting for a while. I think that's the date. Yeah, 201809. Okay. This is the best sounding thing I've had stacks on. Which is odd, because I have an IESL, which I'm going to have to hook back up to do direct comparisons when I do the review of this. I didn't want to have both. But um, this thing is... Very good. And either, e either that's the case, or it's been so long since I've listened to my stacks, and although I've come through so many headphones and loves and hates and ups and downs, but holy fuck. It could also be the fact these are the Mark IIs. I don't think they changed anything on the Mark IIs. They're not supposed to have changed anything on the Mark IIs. Should be the exact same as the L700s I currently own. But oh my God, we're back to, we're back to like, why doesn't everyone, Arias? Who fucking cares? Oh, you want to get some 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 uh, fucking abyss Dianas? No, no. Stacks exist. Stacks exist, and therefore everything else is irrelevant. So because the driver in there, the mylar, it's not a driver. It's just literally a piece of mylar that is super thin, and the electrostatic pulses literally force it to go back and forth, and it's so thin and so fast, and everything is so fast and so detailed, and oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my... That's what my music is like now. We're not here to talk about electrostatics in general. We'll get back to that when I review those versus the original 700s and show you the differences. This thing is interesting. A, it's literally, I can go sit on my couch and listen to electrostats, which was not possible previously. The last time I did that, I had to have like a giant tube amp on the table with an extension cord plugged into it. And then I had a portable player with a three and a half millimeter going back into the RCA inputs of this giant fucking electrostatic tube. And I was like, I could comfortably sit on my couch and listen to my electrostatics. But that's impractical. This is $900. Just want to point this out. We're getting into the world of stacks, bro. This should just be diamonds next to the fucking, this should be the gemstone thing. Because even though this is not a platinum episode, because this officially is under $1,000, you can't get this 
and something to listen to it on without spending money. These are like 1500. The cheapest ear speakers are like 400. And the cheapest ones I wouldn't buy. I would I would get I would go out and get the cost ones from Drop before I told you to do that. Cuz this is the problem. If you go new, new, and I'm talking about new. I'm talking about I want to buy a brand new electrostatic energizer, Zeos. What's the cheapest one they offer? This one. This is the cheapest one anyone offers. Stax makes it. That's it. They used to make this one back here, the little SRM five two five two S is S SRM two five two S. I'm adjusting my camera. Hold on. And um, that was like three hundred bucks. And when that was three hundred dollars, electrostatics were within reach because you can get a three hundred dollar Energizer. It's a cheap one, not the greatest one, but it's but it's there. And like a four hundred dollar ear speaker, which is not the best one, but it's four hundred dollars and it's there. That's seven hundred dollars. That's an attainable goal. But as soon as you make the cheapest, no, I forget portable, the cheapest amplification solution, $900. And now you gotta look for the ear speakers and you know you're not gonna wanna get the low end ones because you're spending fucking $900 on this. So that means you're gonna get at least the L500s and then what's the fucking point, get the L700s. You're looking at $2,400 just to hear them just to get into electrostats. And my previous advice maintains to this day, go to eBay, go to Hi-Fi Guides, go to any of the trading posts, and see if anyone has an old electrostatic amplifier. Because old ones, like from the 90s and the early 2000s, all still function perfectly fine. There's tube variants and solid state variants, and they're giant, giant. But if you can get one of those for four or $500, that's still half the cost of this. However, Sitting here, laptop plugged in with the wire that the unit comes with into USB motherfucking micro. <laughs> into USB micro and then having this switch set either to line in or USB. And here's your DC in so you could charge it. Um, I was taking guesses when I unboxed this. I was wrong. This is 14 volts, two and a half amps to charge this. And it's a very peculiar, I want to point this out before I move on. It says stacks, it's shiny. And the, for some reason, the power plug is a ribbon. And I ain't never seen that before. Oh God, it's everywhere. It's a spaghetti. It's like literally linguine. As an Italian, I go, oh my God, get me some pesto. And we're gonna fucking go nuts. And it just goes to a very small connector and this doesn't attach, and I don't know why it's so weird, but that's just, that's some stacks leaking over into the Edifier branding. I don't know, that's just weird. Someone must have been like, no, we demand it be a noodle cable. That's the only one that makes sense. Um, I'm gonna give you some something. When I, I wanted to do this review earlier in the day, like way earlier in the day, but the player died, like this died. And I knew it was gonna be a short battery life, but if you're using it as a DAC and an electrostatic energizer, which is what we're currently... This has a battery life total in DAC mode. Anybody wanna take a guess? I want you to think about it for a second. You're sitting there watching this video, there's probably 10,000 of you. Did you guess three and a half hours? You were right in the nose. Three and a half hours using it as a DAC and an amp. Three and a half hours. Now, I'm gonna, I will say this. This is a very specialty product when you're using it on the go. If you plug it in your desk, you can just use it. It's fine, just use it. The reason that's 14 volt, two and a half amp, is so it can run it and sort of charge it at the same time. Because this fucking thing, you gotta keep in mind, electrostatics are pushing like 580 volts. This is converting battery power into 580 volts and doing it to produce beautiful music. And frankly, oh my god. My, oh my fucking god. Oh my, oh my god. Back to the Future, Alan Silvestri, Marty's Letter from Back to the Future. Uh, Obviously, the 
just, I, it's like I've never heard any of this music before. It's been that long since I've staxed. There's something fucking special about it. I can wear these now because they're completely open. I can wear these while we're talking about this. This is great. Three and a half hours um, if you use a DAC. If you don't use a DAC, if you use a line in, which we're going to do in a second because I have it hooked up either to the topping here or fuck, I don't have my phone. I'm supposed to get my phone. I also have the BTR5 with this little, little dinker donger, the little dinker 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 donger. And you can go like, whoop. And then boom, it's a Bluetooth stack sex. Oh my God, this sounds amazing, by the way. You're just gonna have to imagine the fire. But if you go analog input and not the DAC, you gain a fucking hour. It goes from three and a half to four and a half. That's, that's, a, that's a chunk. So I mean, and I literally LDAC connection to a BTR5 into a $900 amp. And oh, oh it sounds good. And I was comparing directly the DAC capabilities of this to, if I go like this here, if I plug this in, now I have the option with this switch to either choose to play this, which is Alan Sylvester. Oh my God, it's so good. Or if I flip the switch, breaks the USB there. Now John Coltrane's playing, coming through this three and a half millimeter, coming out of the back outputs of the uh, D90. And I did the exact, I did a thing where I ra ran the exact same song. I started to hear a USB, hit enter on both. They started playing them both. And then about, you know, 20 seconds in, I flipped the switch, it would break the USB and I would adjust the volume. And then I did that like four or five times so that I could just flip the switch and go from internal DAC to boom, D90 DAC, which is a $700 DAC. And with these, which are literally God incarnate screaming into your ears, I couldn't tell the difference. So I'm gonna give the DAC in this high praise. Let's just put it that way. They would high praise. Put this back on. I don't ever have to take them off again. And I think the original intention of this is to take it on the go. Like, like, like I've discussed it, like the Wild and Topaz. You're not supposed to take that and put it in your pocket and go walk around the streets. I've done that. I actually had to put it in a fanny pack. It's so fucking big, it was just tearing my pants down. It was like, you're gonna be naked because I'm gonna bounce and I'm gonna pull your pants down. So I had to get a fucking fanny pack. I bought a fanny pack. No, wait, I had the fanny pack from live streaming when I used to have a fanny pack. I said the word, I'm gonna link a fanny pack because you said it enough, you have to link it now. But I've had a fanny pack with that and it, so that's ridiculous. I don't, I actually did, you could ask my patrons in the $10 tier. I had my, my battery, for, these, I, my battery is Moto Z24, so it has these removable like magnetic batteries. This is a Mophie one. And I literally blue t white tacked this onto this so that I could have my phone here. And then I use this wire. I use the wire off the own um, UB1. BU1? BU1. Because it comes with the actual unit. This unit comes with this wire, which is a USB to right angle USB micro. And it comes with one that's a straight one, but it doesn't come with a short one for doing like to phones and players. So the own has one and there's another one. Oh, I just had it here. This one, although this one is USB-C to USB-C, this won't work, but the same type of little jumper lead cable to connect it to the phone. And I had it, I was literally carrying around my phone like this and you ain't never heard a phone sound like this before ever. And I just channeled a little bit of, um, the genie from Aladdin. But, um, you ain't never had a phone, never had a phone, you wait, never had a phone, never had a phone, never. Okay, um, I wanna recommend this so fucking bad to you, but you have to already be in, this, in the stacks game. You can't, if you are new to this channel or new to audio, leave this video. We are talking about shit that's like when you walk up to a group of people and they're all like huddled together and you're this new guy in town. Hey everybody, what's going on? And you walk into that room and everyone starts being quiet and looks at you. What the fuck is this guy? You're that guy. You're that guy. Leave. Because if I start preaching fucking stacks and the magic of stacks, and oh, by the way, this is only $900, and oh my God, and you could always just run it plugged in. And then you can you know, put in a laptop, and you have a laptop, put in your suitcase, you go to a hotel room, you can just jack it off with a fucking electric stand. Ah! 
I love this fucking thing. This thing has added an op. If I want, a I might, a I might tell Apos, look, I'm buying a house. By the way, I'm buying a house. In case you don't know. And my house is very large, and I don't want to be restricted to just a desk setup with a massive electrostatic energizer. Sell me this. Because then, stacks can be everywhere. I can mow my lawn wearing stacks, which is not a good idea, by the way. Don't do that. Stacks are very, very sensitive to dust and dirt. Because you could literally see inside of them. When you put them down at night, you have to put like a tent over that to keep dust from getting to it. This is why this is this is this is a level of audiophilia that you know. Oh, Zio sells expensive shit all the time. This is totally unrelated because none of the amps you currently have matter. The DAX might count, maybe, but then you need it's like a whole other little world. And the, the SRM D10 allows me to go back into that world whenever I want for about three and a half hours. And that's that's all I could ask from it. I'm not upset at that time limit, by the way. I'm imagining there's never going to be an actual span of time where three hours is not enough time to listen to my stacks. Sure, I mean, you could say, I'm, uh, but if you're like dedicated for that sort of listening level, you're just gonna sit at your desk. But if you wanna pick your shit up, you wanna go sit on your porch and rock back and forth watching the sunset, with stacks on, playing Inagata Devita, it is now capable. You are now capable of doing that. And for a Chinese-made stack stack, stack, I'm so glad it's Edifier that got this contract or put out the money because it is a fucking beautiful thing. Like it's not complicated, but just the way, just the feel of it, this, this murderous grip that is acting as a heat sink as this heats up in my hand, it's just fantastic. This is fucking fine. Ah, uh, oh, um, one little uh, thing. I've determined that when you use you, when I did those, when I did the song back and forth with the exact same song, full out Fubar here USB and full out uh, Fubar here that DAC, I had to turn the DAC down nine decibels because you can because it's a DAC with the remote to match the volume, and any louder than that, any full lens source signal into this will lead to distortion at higher volumes. And I should probably tell you that with the L700s, it gets ex exactly as loud as you'd ever, ever, ever need your stacks to get. Certainly the L700s. Let's push in the, um, I'm gonna lower that. Actually, I could just shut it off, because when you have it hooked up with the USB, obviously it'll break it, but Oh God, oh God, stacks. Uh, Zeos in the future, link this uh, headphone stand as well. I forget who makes this. Shit, who makes this headphone stand? This is the Australian one. This is not cheap either. This is like a 200 something dollar stand that they sent me. And I'm like, can I keep this? And they're like, yes. And I'm like, great. And this is the ultimate because it has a head, it has a loop and it's, it's all steel. It's like beat your neighbor to death with it. There it is, Iron Forge. It says Iron Forge. This is dumb. This is a dumb headphone stand, and I usually don't recommend dumb, but I mean, if you're gonna have like, a and these, by the way, these colors can be changed out to whatever you want. If you're gonna have dumb things on it like stacks, by all means, spend $200 on a headphone stand. At least that's a physical thing. Like when people spend too much money on like power cords, I'm like, you can get cheap, expensive looking power cords. So let's turn this back on now. And these are weird and don't fit properly, but Oh, that's just life, baby. Oh, Inca Step Up by Juno Reactor. One of the things that this mod does with these big pads, and then there's vents that I put in it. I actually was sticking straws behind the pads. For those of you who are new to this channel within like the last three years, when I started putting giant pads on here, I didn't have anything built for it. And I was just sticking them on there. And then I was like, oh, the, when you seal it, you lose all the low ends. So on this particular pair of stacks, I was sticking plastic straws, like from Wendy's. I was cut them in like inch and a half lengths, squeeze them flat so they would stay like in an eyeball shape and shove them behind the pad. And the more vents you put, the more base you got. So this uh, adapter to hold these pads on has four channels. And I think I ended up clogging two of them with blue tack. 
So it only had two channels, and it's tuned the bass to the point of pure orgasm. From here to this moment. Oh, another thing about stacks is they make me sing. Like they really, like I was belting out tunes earlier, right before it died. Belting them. Oh, and you, everyone can hear what you're doing, obviously, which is another reason you're not using this on a plane or a train or a taxi. Although in a taxi, who gives a fuck? And I'm not going past two o'clock on either one of these headphones. If, as long as I have that set to negative nine, there's no distortion. You can go full out when you're using USB DAC. Never go past two o'clock. The volume is insane. It's probably why it dies in three and a half hours. Ah. Oh, Megalobox. I've not, I've, Megalobox, you know what? It might be six months I've been since I've listened to Stacks like for reals. Because I know I've not listened to the Megalobox soundtrack and I definitely watched an anime five or six months ago. And it's... Like, I'm, I'm rediscovering all of my fucking music again. And it's not like, these are not new headphones. And this is not doing that much better a job than like the other energizers I have. But the convenience of having it. If this was half the price, 450 I'd have a seizure reviewing it. At $900, it, it, it lays down the line of like, look, you can't afford to do stacks, poor boy. Y'all need to back the fuck back up to your little uh, electrostatic, your little, uh, not electrostatic, but planar and dynamic world, because you ain't welcome here. And <laughs> that sucks, because I want everyone to hear what I'm hearing, but it's hard to get into this. It's amazing that for not, and here, here, you ready? I'm gonna go to the A-Post page, can I show you something? Um, so here's the unit. Here's everything that that's, is stacks on A-Post. Here, here it is, $900. This fucking monster right next to it, huge, 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 the size of this box, $925. But that's an original Japanese-made uh, SRM 35, 353X. I know what, I think I'm just gonna link, I'll link to the actual product, but I'm gonna link to just the stacks overall search. Also, Zeos, future Zeos on APOS. And you can just look, you just, just, just glance your face at the prices here because there's only one, two, three, four. Of all these products, there are four Sub one thousand dollar products, nine twenty five, eight ninety nine, four thirty L three hundred stacks, seven ninety two L five hundred dollar stacks, and that's it. Everything else is is two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, five thousand eight hundred fucking dollars. Stacks is a world you can't fucking afford. It shouldn't be fuck fuck. Just want to throw my whole desk on the floor. And I am very lucky to be a reviewer and be able to get like certain deals on things because when I got the my original 700s, I got them price matched on another site by Jack Wu, so we were able to send them. I paid $1,400 for my stacks. They were like $1,500. I didn't save much. And I, I, I bought the IFI IESL um, Energize Converter. $900 was the fucking sale price on that. I spent so much of my own money on a fucking electrostatics, and I just, I just... It's very hard to beat them with this shit. And I, I have to not wear them for three or four months at a time, or else, or else it'll just be, what's this video about? Oh, it's about how much um, this headphone's not as good as stacks, and that will be every fucking headphone. I'm gonna stop now because I'm getting a little bit too uppity. Nice wallpaper, by the way. You're welcome. <sighs> yeah. I, I could be in a bus stop and I could have these and just put them on random people. That's never been possible before. Never been possible before. 
I could go somewhere. I mean, I'd probably get yelled at because I'm in quarantine and shit, but I could legitimately stop people on the street and fuck their minds up with stacks. That, that alone, the potential of that alone is amazing. Ah, <sighs> uh, okay. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, click that off. Click that off. I'm gonna take these off my head. We'll hang you here. Anyway, um, if you're new to this channel within the last year or so, I haven't done stacks, and now you know why. Because they break me. They break me. They make me remember. It, it's it's blissful ignorance. Is like, oh, I remember. Yeah, stacks are great. I even forgot them in the fucking wall video. When I did the headphone wall video, I didn't mention my stacks. Not fucking once. Because I'm try, I literally have to. I have to forget them, or they're all that matters. And now I've got this thing, and now I've got those, and I got to take out my other ones, and this one, and this fuck. So I'm gonna be fucked. So I'm glad I'm stopping reviews for a little while because I need to forget again. Because they should. They're too good. Everything. Everything electrostatic is too fucking good when it comes to stacks. Links to that costs nine five x on drop if it's available. If it's not available, because that's that's good. That's real good. It's $500, I think. But I ain't gonna touch this or this. So, I mean, it's just, it's a taste. You get that little, you get that little bit of fucking angel dust on the front of a Marlboro. It's just a, just a, ooh. Scratch it at your chest. This is full on fucking, I'm in a house, curled up vomiting. Okay, I'm done. Thank you, Apos, for sending this out and letting me get all fucking obsessive again. I hope you sell many. At least one. I hope it's not to me. Oh, God, it's gonna be to me, isn't it? It's so well built. Oh, God. That a fire! Um, that wallpaper available in the description. Uh, all wallpapers available in the description of every video. If you'd like to support this channel and my apparent upcoming obsession with spending money on more stocks, um, Patreon and Subscribestar are available in the description or in a comment below. And those allow you, at $5, to see these reviews early, because you know you want to be part of this fucking madness. Uh, ask me any questions you want on platform. Enter the yard sale. I don't think there's ever been a stacks thing in the yard sale, and I don't think there ever fucking will be, sorry. But from the 1st to the 10th of every month, I go through the things that I've been reviewed or sent by companies like this. I don't think they're just letting me keep this. Oh, please, Abos, let me keep it. But um, things like that, things that are sent to me, and I'm like, oh, I'm done with this. What do you want me to do with it? And they're like, I don't care. All right, yard sale. Um, so 1st to the 10th of every month, I sell things from this channel that either I've bought or companies have sent to me or even people have sent me like, hey, see, I got 12 headphones. I don't want anymore. You want them? Sure, and then I put them in the art sale. The SU8 from this month was a, a donation. Uh, yeah, so if you want to be part of that, I ship for free, content to the United States, and you know you can get a good deal on things. Half shipping international. And if you want to join the $10 tiers in either subscribe to our Patreon, that puts you in the behind the scenes Telegram chat, where I'm going to fucking bitch about stacks being better than everything. You know what? It's motherfuckers in there, they don't have stacks. They've got hollow maze, and they've got everything else that's like high-end, but they don't touch the stacks game. Why? Is it not good enough for them? Is it not good enough for you? Are they... You're not too good for your home? Go to your home! Anyway, I gotta stop now. Definitely have to stop. I definitely have to stop talking and listen to my stacks some more. Oh, it's so soft.